Back several years ago, we went down to South Florida and we did a show with Captain Alan Zaremba catching peacock bass. It was before the social media scene, so I was seeing these weird fish pop up on magazines and listening to people talk about how much fun these fish were to catch. Now with today's social media scene, I've been seeing these weird fish pop up and I just had to go down and give it a shot myself. So we looked up Captain Kevin Cannon and Kevin's been all around the world fishing for different species all over the place. And he's living in Boynton Beach now and has this fishery dialed in. The fish we targeted today, it basically all started with people emptying out their aquariums in the canal systems and in the lakes, and they are absolutely thriving down there. Really, really unique fish. Y'all check this out, it was pretty exciting. We put in in Lake Osborne, and to get to like the first spot that we went to, it was like going through an entire maze and how Kevin has figured this out. It took him plenty of years, I'm sure, but sometimes we had to go underneath bridges and I'm glad we were in the smallest Skeeter Bay boat that they make because if we were in anything bigger, we couldn't get underneath some of these bridges. The first spot that we finally got to after going through the maze of canals and retention ditches and all sorts of these waterways down there, it was just like going in Cocoa Beach canals. There was uh, docks on one side, mangroves on the other, iguanas running everywhere. It was just a really neat fishery. They're rolling like crazy. Yeah, we're gonna keep our eye on them. That would look like one right there. If they seem to be rolling a little bit farther away, you know, might just reposition, but they seem to be roaming around pretty good in here this morning. I think we'll get some bites right here. That was definitely a clown, huh? Right there, yep. Cool right bangs. Now we just need a hungry one. Ready to catch your first clown knife? I am ready for All right, my let's first do it, clown man. knife fish. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna bait you up. Just look right out there into the rolls. And hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll find a hungry one. Show me one time where you like them. Just belly hook them right back through here. Boom, you should be ready to go. Yeah, like I said. 10 fish. feet out, huh? Ah, there you go. Yep, give him a little bit of slack to go down and hold your finger on the line. Wait for a big bump. That should be him. Ooh, dang. That was a thump. Get him. Oh. That was him. That was him, huh? Let him have it a little bit longer on the next one. You can't catch fish on the first one. Though, That's right? right, that would have yeah, been bad luck. It's always bad luck. Bad I'm, luck. I'm glad I'm not the only one that said that. You see how hard yeah. that thump was though? That was, Bam! that was a thump and a half. Yeah. I felt like a grouper hitting. Yeah. Similar to flounder fishing, except the thump that you get from a clown knife fish is a lot harder and sharper than a flounder. And you just gotta let them run a little bit longer than you do a flounder, and then you set the hook on them. Oh, there was a definite hit. Get him, Blair. He smacked it. Three, four, there's your five seconds. He's coming at you, coming at you, coming yep. at you. He whacked it. Like that very first hit. He's good. What do we got? What do we got? I can't see him yet. That's a good sign that it's the targeted species, right? Oh yeah, it's a good fish, whatever he is. Get out of your way. Can you pop that trolling motor up? Nice fish, whatever he is. Yeah, he's pulling drag. You never know in these fresh waters here in Palm Beach. Oh. Mystery fish! Look at that. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I think I was a big clown. I do. Yeah. Come All here right. and look at this. I'm, uh, come here and look at this. I'm gonna show you exactly what happened. When you hooked that bait. Yeah. Oh, there was a scale on there. And I've, I've said this so many times, folks, about a scale being on the front of your hook. You'll see that little tiny scale right there. It's off of that blasted little shad. We're gonna catch one of these, boy, I promise you. I hope so. <laughs> so Kevin, these fish eat pretty much all day long, middle of the day, middle of the heat? Yeah, clown knife fish, they'll bite right throughout the day. You know, the heat of the day, one o'clock in the afternoon, doesn't really affect them that much. They're, uh, you know, tropical fish used to the heat. This is kind of normal for them. Uh, typically, 
I see my clients uh, start to melt and, and need a drink well before the clown might just stop biting. <laughs> Come on, you clown. Quit clowning around, let's do it. You know, Kevin, this looks a little bit different than our normal backdrop. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> a little bit more of a uh, urban setting here. Yeah, definitely an urban setting. That looks that looks pretty there, though. Yeah, you, you got a little bit of both here. You got the urban, and then you got it looks like you're actually in the jungle. Just depends on which side you look at. Well, guys, we're still fishing. We've tried a few different spots here today. Oh, ooh, I just got a hit. So cross his eyes. Just get tight on and cross his eyes. Reel it. All right. All right, we fish got out. a fish. Is it the targeted species? Fish out. <sighs> feels kind of like a big ribbon fish, it might be. <laughs> yeah. Grab our net here. Big that large mouth. Big, those are peacocks. No, right? it's a large mouth. Big large mouth, all right. Hey, this is gonna be the biggest large mouth on the show so far. You've been taking drag. Oh, he, he's a good one. He is a good one, look at that fish. I'm gonna give him the old Scott Martin lip job. <laughs> I'm gonna put him in here. We'll lip him right out of the net. <laughs> That's a nice bass, man. Yep, that is gonna be my biggest bass on the show there to date. You go. Nice fish. To date. <laughs> nice when you get chunky largemouth as your bycatch. That is nice. <laughs> he swallowed that one. He might be gonna keep that one. But these fish always amazing. Ever since I was a little kid, you know, everybody, you know, growing up, but said, why do you like bass fishing? Why do you like <laughs> bass fishing? Because it's different than the salt water. Cool fish. You know if we need to just clip them. There you go. Nice job. Yep. Nice chunky largemouth. You old largemouth bass. I'm sure you guys have seen a billion of these on TV shows, but uh, I think this is like the third or fourth one they've ever seen on my show. Yeah. But, All right. Yeah. Was old, not rolling, but uh, Jimmy Houston. Jimmy, got to give him a kiss. Sugar booger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's for you, Jimmy. There's another one rolling. You know what he's saying? They look just like baby tarpon when they come up and roll. Yeah, absolutely. Just like it. The first time I saw these fish roll and behave like that, that's the first thing that came to my mind. I said, man, these look just like tarpon coming up and gulping air. These things can get you pretty frustrated, huh? Yeah, yeah. Requires a lot of patience on a lot of days. Almost like tarpon fishing. Very similar. They're over there, then they're over there, then they're over there. Very similar. Yeah, like, like that, that one. one right they're rolling right there. Been looking at them all morning. You just gotta, just like tarpon fish, you gotta wait for someone to throw the switch and all of a sudden they're eating. My bait's starting to feel a little funny right here. I don't know if he's swimming back to the boat on me. Something doesn't quite feel right there. I'm gonna wind down on him here, see? Uh, there's something swimming back to the boat with him right here. Fish on? Yep. A fish on. He's swimming back to the boat with it. Oh, I've done that before yeah. right there. I don't know where it is. It's a clown. It's a clown. It's a clown. I'm going to grab the uh, net there, boy. We do that. There he is right there. See him? Well, if I don't get to catch one, I can net one. I'm going to try to lead him right to you. They do a weird thing where they swim backwards. Let me see if I can get him head first to you. Hold on, hold on. There he is. All First right. one of the day. I see him up here on the deck and check him out. So that's what they look like, huh? There we are. Clown knife fish right there. Check that dude out. Just grab him on the gill, you like you say, slide yeah, up on him? Yeah, you can slide your hand right in his gill. Oh, is that a weird looking fish? There you go. Beautiful. Throw car out of his head. Nice. What a weird looking <laughs> fish. Oh, they drum too. Oh yeah. Is he pop, 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 yeah. pop? Uh-huh. Wow. Watch it, let them uh, dangle, Blair, and see sometimes they'll start moving that. Uh, yeah, I'll look check at that. that out. Is that cool or what? Like a snake. There's our South Florida exotic right there. That is an awesome looking fish. Looks like the Lord took off a day. Oh, well, <laughs> about about 11.59 Saturday night. Yeah, he made off. it all the way down to there and then took the rest of the day off. So, Forgot uh -uh. the tail. Uh, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna make the rest of that fish. He looks pretty cool just like that. Yep. How cool is that? Seems I think drum. that might be the uh, bait, or he's either drummer, that might be the bait in there flicking around. Something's going on. <laughs> oh, he drummed. Is he? <laughs> yeah, he, ooh, kind of a unique smell to him. 
Well, you know, we had to let Kevin catch the first one, and what an awesome looking fish, and I cannot wait to catch one myself. All from somebody's aquarium. That's it. Just toss them in, head down. Yeah, I mean, you can even just, yeah, toss them in or perfect. Put him in backwards like he was swimming. There you go. Good job, brother. All right, that's, All the, right. Fir that's the first of many. We're gonna catch some more here now. Now it's time for me to catch one. I've hooked four today, but for some reason, they just keep coming unbuttoned. But I am gonna catch one. So it was getting a little bit late in the day, you know, and usually you get that onshore breeze that kind of keeps you cool. And we got behind these trees and I mean, it was a doldrum. It was hotter than blazes out there. I still haven't got my first clown knife fish yet, but I'm hopeful on this last spot. See, there's just a little bit of current coming out of there. Sometimes official. Oh, look, I just got blasted. You just got whacked. I'm on. Fish out. So is this peacocks in here? Yep, there's a mix of peacocks, largemouth, clown knife fish. Sunshine bass, whatever this is, he was angry when he hit it. <laughs> He's digging, ain't he? Yeah. And a nice peacock, real nice peacock. You might want to net this one here, Mike. Oh yeah. South Florida peacocks, baby. Oh, that Look is at that a nice boy. Man. We got a bruiser on here. Oh. Look at that. All right. Look at that beautiful nice fish. Nice fish, huh? Big male. Yes, sir. Boom. Perfect hook job. South Florida exotics right there. He's got a broken jaw. May not be his first uh, encounter with a hook. Uh -oh. Look at that, he's got a broken jaw. Yep. And still eating still good. Still hungry. Beautiful peacock bass. Oh my God, check that thing out. Their eyes are absolutely incredible. That is a gorgeous fish, isn't it? Beautiful. We take that leaf off in there. You look even better. <laughs> look even better now. <laughs> Pretty little aquarium fish, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. I just figured that's how they got started in here, huh? Yeah, yeah. Just like uh, pretty much everything else. Blair, I'd uh, awesome, bro. Nice job, man. Let's take a look. Your line looks like it's going a little funny there, like something might be swimming up the canal with it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm my pilchard. Okay. Yeah. We hold butt. All right. Well, that's the way to get the second spot started. Yeah, man. Fish? Yeah, he, he just got, oh, yeah, I think there's one on there. Yeah, there we go, fish on. Oh, that's a clown, I think that's a clown. A clowner? I believe so. Yes, it is. Yes, Bye. it is. Oh, get the... Man. Net real quick. Oh, he's already right here. He's trying to jump in the boat. Since we got the targeted species. Look at him backing away, Blair. Look at him backing away. <laughs> you got a good look at you. <laughs> I don't, oh, look out. We got a leaper. Hold on, I'll get him. I'll bring him right up to you. It's hard to get him when they're going backwards. There you go, bud. Ooh. There he is. There we go. Number three, brother. All right, cool. Good job. Nice job. Right in that bottom lip. Beautiful. Good hook. All right. Check this out, guys. Watch it. Watch this. <laughs> Come on, flip the other way. Get in the sun where you can see that stuff going. That is the coolest. <laughs> cool, huh? Yep. Hey, Blair, and check it out. They started out this this big in in fish tanks. And started out about that big. Yeah, about that big. That is. And they'll awesome. get even bigger than that. Much bigger than that. What a cool fish. One of their nicknames is uh, Featherback. You can see it's from that single dorsal fin right there. Looks like a little feather sticking up. Looks like no other fish. I, well, kind of like an arowana, really. But Yeah, a little bit. Well, let's get this dude back in his aquarium. There you go. There you go, folks. <laughs> cool little fish. You release him backwards. Huh? And there he goes. Look, he literally swam off backwards. See ya. <laughs> Good job, brother. Yeah, man. Well, that Excellent. is awesome. If y'all ever get a chance to come down here to Boynton Beach, you're, you're out of Boynton, correct? Yes, sir. Out of Boynton Beach, make sure you give Captain Kevin Cannon. What's your name of your business? Where they can get you on Instagram? Uh, Peacock Bass Adventures. You can follow me on Instagram at Peacock Bass Adventures. We'll get you out here catching clown knife fish, peacock bass, largemouth bass, sunshine bass, and whatever other things that we don't even know swimming in here might bite. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? No gators, though, if you're scared of gators. Yeah, no
Getting that uh, daytime doldrum, aren't we? Yeah, a little bit of a daytime doldrum here. Our uh, talons holding us in place real good right here, so I think what we'll do is... Uh, see, I keep seeing them up there. Absolutely, I see some fish rolling up there, so we pick the talon up and we'll just use our trolling motor to start easing on down the fish, and uh, when we think we're in them again, now, one thing that's pretty cool, Kevin, is this year I've been throwing that eight footer that we got so much, and that would be a little overkill in here. <laughs> yeah. Catching 90 pound tarpon with it, but we brought out the seven twos and the seven sixes. And... Yeah. No, these outfits are great, nice and light, and they really sling a bait pretty far. Yeah, they do. That nice, <laughs> nice. Oh, I got a fish. You got one on you there. Fish on. Oh. I think we got a good one here. Clown life. It's fish. my clown! My first one, baby. Come on, stay on. Get that net. We got a weird one on here now. Oh, I almost got him in the net on that jump. <laughs> I didn't know they jumped. Oh yeah, jump like a tarpon. <laughs> Come on up here. Look at him swimming backwards. That See is that? the He's coolest thing. He's putting it in reverse there. Come on. Right to you now. In there. Hey, look at that. Cool is that a bean, weird fish brother. or what? That is awesome. Nice job, Blair. The old clown knifer. I grabbed yours earlier, so I'll grab mine now. Yep. Nice job. <laughs> See him flopping around, jumping out there like a tarpon? That was incredible. Little bitty mouth for such a big fish, too. There you go. Check right. that out. Nice job, bud. That is a cool looking fish. <laughs> Yep. Let me get him in the light real good here. Yeah. Let him go and let him yeah, do let him do. I was going to say, look at his tail there. You let him dangle like that, though. <laughs> He's trying to swim backwards. <laughs> that is cool. What a cool fish. You see him going backwards when we tried to net him? Yeah. He just put it in reverse and said, nope, I don't think so. That is the coolest thing they do with their tail. Like yeah, that, man. Huh? And it's it, mesmerizing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it give you hit. Hypnotize, yeah. <laughs> come fish with Kevin Cannon. <laughs> You'll catch a clown knife fish. Yeah, Let's get very back cool. in the water. That is cool. So, oh, he gone. <laughs> <laughs> he came back alive real good. Quick release, he wanted to be gone. Well, thank you. All right, nice job, Blair. That was awesome. That was one fish that got on my bucket list when I was watching it on the internet. Yeah. Well, I actually saw him a couple years ago. I said, that is such a cool fish. Very cool fish. And everybody said, well, you got to come at night and catch him. You got to do this, you got to do that. Yeah, not true. Come on out here in the canals in West Palm Beach, and here we go. Definitely one of the coolest fish I've caught in a long time. And if y'all saw that first part of the show, I was having a little trouble hooking one and getting it to the boat. But after I figured out the bite, I was able to knock that one off my bucket list. Now our main target out there that day was the clown knives, but the bycatch was pretty cool as well. I think I caught the biggest largemouth that I've ever caught on the show. And Kevin caught a couple of nice peacocks too. If y'all ever get the chance, make sure you look up Captain Kevin Cannon down out of Boynton Beach. He definitely has got that fishery dialed in. Don't forget about the website, addictivefishing.com. That about wraps up today's show. We'll see you next week. There's a little sugar booger for you. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to addictivefishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. Get him. Oh, man, that's the biggest bass I ever caught in my life. Oh. That would be my first Picosimus. Mystery fish. Always been wanting to do that on my feet. <laughs> That's a bad. <laughs>